Welcome to RootTorrent Seedbox Web UI Tutorial. This RootTorrent Seedbox Web UI allows you to create, upload, and manage your private torrent files. In this tutorial, we're going to walk you through the various options this portal provides you for your convenience. So let's get started. On the left-hand pane, you can find your currently downloaded torrents, completed torrents, inactive torrents, and other torrent labels. You'll find several buttons on the top bar. The first icon you see is the log off that allows you to log off from the current session. The next icon is the add torrent, which allows you to add the torrent from various sources like directory, where you'll get options like not to add torrents path, not to start the download automatically, and fast resume. You can also add torrent files, existing torrent file on your computer, or by simply copying a torrent URL. Create torrent icon allows you to create a new torrent altogether for your existing file. You may also add various properties like trackers, comments, and piece size of the torrent. This option also allows you to choose whether you want to start seeding it or make it a private torrent. The Remove icon allows you to remove any existing torrents that are there on the list. The Start icon allows you to start downloading any new torrent or you can even start downloading the torrent that has been paused earlier. The next one is the Pause icon, which allows you to pause the downloading of any of the current torrents that are being downloaded. If you wish to stop the downloading of any torrent in your current list, all you need to do is just click on this Stop icon. The RSS Downloader icon will allow you to add any RSS feed of any website. All you need to do is just click on this icon and type the URL of the website you'd like to take the RSS feed from, along with a custom alias if required, and hit Enter. Our Torrent Manager icon will allow you to check the log of current torrent downloads. You may either stop or restart Web UI from the option given below. If you wish to change any settings, then all you need to do is simply click on the Settings icon, which will allow you to make any changes to different types of settings on your profile. Under the General tab, you'll find various options like Confirming when deleting torrent, Alternate list background color, Show categories on startup, Receive message from tracker, Ignore messages from timeouts, Full render of large tables, Show table contents while scrolling, and Auto switch to Log tab. You can also update GUI and request timeout along with altering the speed pop-up list. You can also change your current theme from this tab. With the help of other tabs, you can manage or link other accounts. Auto Tools tab allows you to enable auto label and auto move features apart from the tabs. Like Cookies allows you to look at cookies. File Manager tab will allow you to alter display settings, archive settings, and screenshot settings. There are more tabs like File Upload, Retracker tab, which will allow you to add and remove announces. Feeds tab will allow you to update intervals. Inside the Starter tab, you can auto-reload WebUI after rTorrent Start Stop or ask about rTorrent Start and WebUI Start. The Search tab will allow you to set common limitations and alter public and private engines. Inside the History tab, you can check log or desktop notification. There are tabs like Unpack and Ratio Groups. Proxy buttons will take you to another page where you can put your proxy and play pause web UI icon. This allows you to play or pause web UI, the user interface. The refresh web UI icon allows you to refresh the web UI. The plugins icon allows you to go through and alter different plugins where and when needed. If you're stuck somewhere and can't